Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lukendra Kumar and today we will be discussing some of the important sugars. Uh, one is sucrose, second one is lactose. In this video, I will be discussing only the sucrose. I'll discuss the structure, what are the different basic components of sucrose. Essentially, we have glucose and fructose. That's the, the monomeric unit for the sucrose. And we'll also understand the glycosidic bond, why it is known as alpha-1-2 glycosidic linkage and how it is formed. So I hope that in this video, you will understand you'll better understand uh, what is sucrose, what is the function of sucrose and uh, what are the basic components of the suc sucrose. And we'll also understand the covalent glycosidic linkage between the two monomeric unit of the sucrose molecule. So without any delay, let's start the video. So the title for today's video is uh, sucrose and the lactose. So these are the two important sugars uh, that are essential for most of the living things when we when we talk about sucrose the first thing that comes in our mind is the table sugar so what is sucrose is the table sugar that we use in our drinks what is the structure of that molecule what is the structure of sucrose molecule is it as a glucose only just the fructose it's not it's the combination of glucose and the fructose molecule so how the combination works as you can see i'm i'm preparing or i'm constructing the the ring form of uh, one of the sugar of the sucrose molecule so as you can see here you have six carbon atoms so they are named as one then you have second then third fourth and the fifth one the sixth one as you can see over there that is ch2oh and that OH group is involved in the ring formation. Further, at the alpha position, you can see CO. So the, the bond is COO, CO and C, which is the glycosidic linkage. Here, you can clearly see you have uh, uh, the second position for the fructose. So I have labeled the first one, and then you have different, different. Uh, carbon atoms so here you can see H group and then OH group and further the last one is the CH2OH for the fructose so second one third one and fourth one and then fifth and the sixth one is the CH2OH so you can see the first carbon atom of uh, the glucose and the second of the fructose they are bound together to form this uh, disaccharide molecule which is sucrose so sucrose is the polymer of or I would say it's a dimer of glucose and the fructose molecule. Now, this is the ring representation to show you that how these two molecules are combined together and the bond that is that is there in between these two molecules is the COC bond, which is basically alpha-1-2 glycosidic linkage. We will discuss about that particular bond, whether it's ionic or whether it's covalent. But you you can see here, uh, if you if you remember the structure of these two sugar molecules, when we'll use basically uh, the convention to represent this as a as a C O and C bonding, that is your glycosidic linkage. It is a covalent glycosidic linkage, and I've already discussed this is alpha one two linkage. Now it's a covalent linkage which is formed by the removal of one water molecule from these by the combination of these two or the reaction of these two sugar molecules. This bond is formed by the reaction between the first carbon of one sugar and the OH group which is hydroxyl group of the another sugar and because of that you will have C O and C linkage which is the glycosidic linkage between these two sugar molecules. So basically when you'll have this interaction or this reaction going on between these two sugar molecules, you'll use uh, basically the glycosidic linkage and after losing one uh, water molecule, you'll have the combination of these two sugar molecules essentially known as sucrose. And sucrose we have already discussed is the table sugar that we use in our drinks basically. For example, coffee, for example, tea, we make and we use the sugar as a sweetener, that is the sucrose molecule. Uh, lactose, we'll, we'll cover the lactose in our next video, where we'll discuss what is the structural uh, 
features of lactose molecules what are the components in case of lactose molecules and um, what is the difference between the sucrose and the lactose molecule this is one of the important question when when it has been asked in the exams uh, to find out how much your understanding is of the biochemistry especially of the carbohydrates so people can throw basically this question what are the uh, the monomeric units for sucrose what are the monomeric units for glucose so you should have a better understanding of these sugar molecules now this was it for this video and uh, I'll come with the next video where we'll discuss the structure of a lactose molecule. I hope that this video was helpful for you to understand the glycosidic linkage why it's called alpha 1, 2 because in case of uh, sucrose molecules you have 1 and 2 carbon atoms that are involved in the glycosidic linkage. Uh, that's why we call it as a alpha 1, 2 glycosidic linkage. You have uh, sucrose molecule here we have discussed the what are the basic units for sucrose glucose and fructose so i hope that uh, you know this video was uh, helpful for you to understand sucrose molecule and i hope that this video is going to help you in understanding uh, the the carbohydrate biochemistry much, much better so i'll meet you in my next video where we'll discuss more topics like that thank you and take care